The EA Play press conference at E3 has given us an insane amount of new information on Anthem. I'm breaking it all down in multiple videos. The world, story and co-op, the environment and wildlife, and the freelancer javelins and customization of those. The dangerous world of Anthem should only be entered through the use of an exosuit called a javelin. Today we're focusing on just that. The freelancer, the javelins and their customization. Let's quickly get into it. The world of Anthem is challenging and dangerous. You, as a freelancer, pilots an exosuit called a javelin. These suits are here to give you a fighting chance in this world that wants to kill you. Each javelin possesses over basic functions like wielding weapons, flying, running and ground pounding. Don't drop from too high though because you can take fall damage in this game. Also keep an eye on your jets as overheating is a thing. However you can fly through a waterfall or dive in the water for a quick cooldown. The javelin supplies the freelancer with armor, weapons and abilities. In addition to the locked in melee attacks, defensive maneuvers and ultimate attacks, each suit can equip two weapons and two pieces of gear, a category that includes explosives, energy blasts and more. At launch, the freelancer has the option to choose between any of the following four javelins, the ranger, colossus, storm and interceptor. But by going back to Fort Tarsis, the story hub behind the walls, or to the Strider, your forward operating base, you can resupply and change javelins if you so please at any time. The only time you cannot change javelins is mid-mission. Let's take a look at our four javelins. The Ranger is the Generalist, the Jack of all trades javelin. It doesn't necessarily specialize, but it's good at pretty much anything. It's mostly up close and personal with close range weapons like shotguns or melee weapons, but it also has machine guns. Abilities it can use are cryo grenades and missile barrage. There are loads more, but they haven't showcased it yet. The Colossus is the heavy the tank of the squad. It carries heavy machine guns. Its abilities are quite extensive actually. It's more specialized. So it can use a giant shield, a fire mortar, multi mortar, rocket gun, or even a flamethrower. Loads of different options. The Storm is the glass cannon magician of the group. It can cast protective barriers around himself or teleport short distances to dodge incoming fire. It's very lightweight. Finally, the new one is called the Interceptor and this hasn't been showcased yet. From what we've seen, it looked like a nimble and quick javelin with a lightweight design, more like the Storm and less like the Colossus for example, but they didn't show any abilities. Both the Freelancer and the Javelins can each be customized. The Freelancer can be customized to your liking, this is kind of character customization. Once you completed the customization, it can be undone at launch, but in their post-launch plan they might add a feature where you can alter your appearance after you launch your campaign. Each Javelin can be customized in terms of how they look too. You can customize the appearance, you can change both the geometry of the suit and the paint job on it for a unique look as you can see on screen. This means that no two rangers will look the same and this can be unlocked through progression but also through microtransactions. However, Bioware mentioned that there will be no loot boxes in the game but you can directly buy the cosmetics. 
Freelancers and Javelins through the progression system can unlock a broad variety of skills and abilities. The Freelancer and Javelin progression is separate as you unlock abilities for the Freelancer that apply to all Javelins like for example longer fly time or slower overheat. Of course besides that the Javelins can progress and unlock new abilities and weapons too. For example the Colossus can pick a multi mortar like I mentioned or it can go for a fire mortar. It's kind of a build you have to select. Like that you can customize it in many many ways. However, no single javelin suit is created for every situation. The whole idea behind Anthem is cooperative play, so the suits complement each other. All in all, it sounds like the world of Anthem should be prepared for us because we're packing some heavy firepower. This is all we currently know about the freelancer and javelins and their customization. Let me know what your favorite javelin is and why. I can't wait to play each and every one of them, but the ranger is still my favorite because I'm a jack of all trades kind of guy. And with that, I'm ending the video. Thank you for watching and peace out.